Hello everyone, in this lecture today, I'm going to talk to you about what is ribogreen assay? What is the principle of ribogreen assay for the quantification of RNA? And also, what is the principle behind measuring encapsulated RNA concentration present inside the lipid nanoparticle using the ribogreen assay? So, what is ribogreen? Ribogreen is a proprietary fluorescent dye this dye stains both RNA as well as DNA. So ribogreen is a proprietary fluorescent dye which stains RNA as well as DNA. So when ribogreen is present freely in the solution, we, this, this gives little to no fluorescence. So when ribogreen is present freely in the solution, this gives little to no fluorescence. But ribogreen, when ribogreen binds to either RNA or DNA, the fluorescence increases over 1000 folds. When ribogreen binds to either RNA or DNA, the fluorescence increases over 1000 fold. So if, we, if you want to measure the concentration of RNA from RNA-DNA mix samples, then what you have to do? You have to pre-treat your RNA-DNA mix samples with DNAs. Okay, this sample has RNA-DNA mixture. So we, we treat with DNAs, so these DNAs will degrade our D DNA from the, from the RNA-DNA mix sample and then uh, we will have RNA, RNA left. So then this RNA, when we add ribogreen, so this ribogreen can bind to the RNA and from here we will get the fluorescence and this fluorescence will be specific for the RNA and hence this method can be used to specifically determine the concentration of RNA from RNA-DNA mixed samples. So now I talked about how to measure the concentration of RNA from RNA-DNA mixed samples. I'm going to talk about how to measure the concentration of encapsulated RNA inside the lipid nanoparticle. So what are lipid nanoparticles? RNA lipid nanoparticles are the spherical vesicles in which the RNA has been encapsulated. So basically we will have RNA, we have RNA and we have the lipid nanoparticle and we mix these and then we get RNA lipid nanoparticle. So in this RNA lipid nanoparticle, some RNA will be encapsulated where, while some RNA will not be encapsulated. So then how to measure the concentration of RNA that is encapsulated inside the lipid nanoparticle? So for this, we have to take two samples. So one, we will have one, we will have our lipid nanoparticle, our lipid nano, our synthesized lipid nanoparticle that we will treat with Triton X. So why we will treat on, tre treat with Triton X hundred? Simply because we want to break down the lipid nanoparticle, and hence all the um, RNA will be released out of the lipid nanoparticle. So. Whereas in the other case, in the other sample, we will not do Triton X100. So here we will leave the lipid nanoparticle as such. Here, so we, we took two sample, one with Triton X treatment and the other without Triton X treatment. Triton X, Triton X treatment degrades lipid nanoparticle, all the RNA comes out. And then afterwards, we treat both of these samples with ribogreen. First, let's treat. Uh, let's look at the um, this sample here. So all the RNA came out from the lipid nanoparticle, and when we when we treat with treat it with ribogreen, then we will get the fluorescence. And this fluorescence will correspond to the total RNA. This fluorescence this fluorescence will correspond to the total RNA concentration. Whereas in this case. Whereas in this case, uh, when we treat this lipid nanoparticle with the ribogreen, this ribogreen will, will bind only to this freely available RNA. The ribogreen will bind only to not encapsulated RNA or freely available RNA. The RNA inside the lipid nanoparticle, um, ribogreen cannot bind. Okay, so ribogreen only binds to RNA that is freely available outside, but not with the RNA that is encapsulated. So then here, uh, then uh, again, uh, like in the case here, we will measure the fluorescence, and this fluorescence will give us, uh, will correspond to the concentration of uncapsulated RNA, okay? This fluorescence will correspond to the concentration of 
uncapsulated RNA. So to determine the concentration of encapsulated RNA, we will simply subtract total RNA concentration minus uncapsulated RNA concentration. That will give us encapsulated RNA concentration. So encapsulated RNA concentration will be total RNA concentration minus unencapsulated RNA concentration.